Get over here! Get over here! Splish! Thank you! Everybody, welcome back. Where as you can tell today, we're playing the Dunsparce. Um, this is probably the worst way to use terrestrialization, but that's okay because it's an interesting way to use terrestrialization to give yourself a weakness that you don't have so you can trigger weakness policy. This is me again trying to prove that rattled is a good ability and. <laughs> On the right Pokemon, in the right context, it can do things. And I think I'm right. I, I absolutely think that Rattle is a good ability. It can do things in the right context. We still don't, just don't have the right Pokemon. But Dedunsparce is the only, like, fully evolved Pokemon with good stats that has Rattled. So we're using Dedunsparce today. And also because it's it's hilarious. It's just long Dunsparce. And I, I think that's great. I think that's really funny. Anyway, let's talk about the team really quick, and then we'll get into more battles for the rest of the video. You don't have to listen to me talk for too much longer. First up, we have the Dead on Sparse running weakness policy and the ability Rattled. If you don't know what Rattled does, anytime you are hit by a bug, dark, or ghost type attack, your speed is raised by one stage. The same thing will happen if you get Intimidated. It does not nullify the effect of Intimidate, though. So the basic idea here is we become ghost type, so we're weak to beat up. And then we beat up ourselves and we get four speed boosts, uh, two attack boosts, and two special attack boosts. Uh, which means we'll be at plus two attack, plus two special attack, and plus three speed. And then we can baton pass that away to all of our good attackers in the back here. Like, well, basically just Goldengo. Um, on any strategy like this, I feel like Flamigo is a must. Flamigo has got to be my, my new favorite Pokemon to use. It's so good on any setup strategy, and I love playing ridiculous setup strategies. So Flamigo is my new is actually my new best friend. <laughs> Flamigo is not just a Flamigo, it is actually my new best friend. Um with the mouse hole with friend guard, it, this is like the best beat up Pokemon right now. It's so good because it also has the option to just follow me and not do beat up. I'm running Population Bomb just as a damaging move. I don't know if it's great. I did use it once in this video. It, I mean, it did, like, some damage, but, you know. It's really hard to know what to do with this when you run the support set, because, like, I could just run, like, Taunt, but then I only damaging move is beat up, and that doesn't really get me anywhere, you know? But Friend Guard Mouse Hold with Follow Me is really, really good. This is a Pokemon to keep out, keep in your minds, because it's a super good mon offensively, and it's a super good mon in a supporting role. Next up, we have the Goldengo. I picked Goldengo just because it's strong spread move Pokemon. Um, and it's also ghost type. So most, uh, obviously most people aren't going to look at my lead and go, oh, he's going to tear a ghost and do weakness policy rattled. That's a given. And then when I baton pass, I baton pass into a ghost type. Um, so my opponent was never going to target the Dunsparce with a ghost type move in the first place. So when I switch, they're still weren't going to target me with a ghost type move. So it should be a pretty safe switch most of the time. And... Goldengo is immune to fighting type moves, which is the only weakness that Dedun Sparse has. We're running three attacking moves because uh, we don't need to run Nasty Plot because we're setting ourselves up with a Dedun Sparse. Um, yeah, and we're running the Prankster Murkrow here just because it's a good Pokemon. I mean, I'm running it here mostly because it just goes really good with Goldengo. They're like, match, their types match up really well. I didn't bring it to a single game. We always, the Dedun Sparse strategy is like always live. It, you only can't get it off if your opponent has, like, Trick Room that you can't stop, or... And even then, you can still get it off because you have two redirecting Pokemon. Um, really, the biggest problem was opposing Murkrow <laughs> because they can just haze and ruin your life. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Next up, our friend Flamigo. Brave Bird, Close Combat, Protect, and Wide Guard. I really like running Wide Guard on Flamigo. Like, there's so many scary spread moves in the format. If you can find, like, space to run Wide Guard on your offensive Pokemon, it's pretty good. 
because it's one, it's going to be unexpected. Your opponent's going to click the spread move and you're going to have wide guard and they're not going to know what to do. But two, if it's on your offensive Pokemon, you don't have to worry about um, like not having it when you only have offensive Pokemon on the field, if that makes sense. So I really like winning wide guard on Flamigo. It doesn't really need coverage past Brave Bird and close combat. These two moves will hit everything that you need. We're not running any speed investment because we don't need to. We're going to be at plus three speed, and if we don't get the plus three speed, then we're probably going to lose. So <laughs> all or nothing. And then lastly, the Amoongus here. Amoongus is just a really good Pokemon in this format. I'm running Terra Dark to be immune to Prankster and then the Aqua Berry. Um, I didn't bring this at all either. I only ever brought Did It on Sparse, Mousehold, Goldango, and Flamigo. Like I said, it's live pretty much all the time. It's a super great strat. Um, would I say that it's good? No. Is it funny and fun to use? Yes, and that is the that is the realm we try to live in. It's funny and fun to use. We're going to get back to the rest of the video here. But as always, guys, if you like the video, leave me that big fat like. Leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000 by Christmas. We are at 924 at the time of this recording. We're so close, guys. We're so close. And like I said, when we hit 1,000, I will evolve into Goldengo. So if you want to see that, you know, drop drop a subscription. Um, I think I'm also going to do merch at a thousand. We'll see. We'll see if I get that figured out before we get there. Um, but anyway, guys, let's move on to the rest of the video.
Thank you. 